the apex of the heart. That's an area that's sort of a no man's land for surgeons. It's very, very difficult to get to without damaging the heart. And so that, that's why basically nobody wanted to touch Maverick. I had a patient with Maverick with Swiss cheese septum. The most common malformation that children have with congenital heart defects is, is a hole between either the upper chambers, which is called an ASD, atrioceptive defect, or between the two lower chambers, which is called a ventricular septal defect. The most difficult type is what's the so-called Swiss cheese type, and so-called Swiss cheese because there's so many holes, it looks like a Swiss cheese. His anatomy was one of the most complicated anatomies I've seen within the Swiss cheese spectrum. A normal VSD would be somewhere here, which is easy to repair as you're coming from the top and you're fixing the VSD right there. Maverick's situation was he, was he had all the VSDs located very much at the apex of the heart in this region here. And this is a very, very difficult, it's, one, it's the most difficult region of the heart to get to. He had about 10 to 12 uh, holes in that region of the septum, allowing blood to go from the left side to the right side of the, of the heart and being ejected and, and damaging the lungs. And you can see here on this image how the blood is flowing through these holes. All these are holes here. The, the tricky thing about a case like Maverick is that you need what's called a hybrid approach, meaning you need to have two disciplines. We need cardiac surgery and cardiology working together because we open the heart, we stop the heart, open the heart, expose. But some of these VSTs, as I was saying, are very, very difficult to find. And they're better found when you, before you stop the heart, you actually, under echo guidance, you pass a wire from outside of the heart through the hole, finding the hole, then you leave the wire in place for when you then stop the heart, expose things, and the wire guides you then to finding that, that VST. So we had a transesophageal echocardiogram going. Uh, we were able to pass the wire through the main VST that I thought was going to be difficult to find. And, um, and then we then stopped the heart. We tried to put a, a device in to try to shorten the operation, to shorten the time that we would have to stop the heart, but that didn't, it was just too complex to, to hold the device. So we took the device out and we, um, we then were able to repair everything as, as I had planned. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say that his prognosis is outstanding. Basically, he's back to essentially a normal life expectancy curve.